Are you prepared to take the SAT or ACT? Pause the video now to go ahead and try the problem on your own and put your answer in the comment section down below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and go over the problem together. A regular hexagon is inscribed in a circle with a diameter of 18 inches as shown. What is the perimeter in inches of the hexagon? All right, so we have our circle and the diameter of it is 18 inches. And notice that it is also going to be a diagonal of our regular hexagon that's inside of it. Now a trick to solving this problem is drawing the same diameter but connecting different vertices of this hexagon. Looks like we can draw three of these diameters which connect opposite vertices of the hexagon. For regular polygons, each of these diagonals are going to intersect in the center of the circle, which means that each of these measurements over here are going to be half of 18 or are going to be the radius of the circle. So this is going to be 9 and 9. Let's ignore the hexagon for a moment, and if we just look at this circle, remember that all the angles inside here should add up to 360 degrees to make a full circle. So it looks like we have six different sections here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of these identical or congruent central angles. So we take the entire circle here of 360 degrees and then split it evenly amongst the six of the central angles here. We're going to know that each of the central angles must be 60 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and bring the hexagon back in now. Here's that hexagon again, and let's ignore the circle. It looks like we have six congruent triangles inside of this regular hexagon, and we actually know that two of the side lengths of these triangles are going to be nine already. Focusing on just one of these triangles, notice that it is isosceles, just because two of the side lengths are congruent, being 9 and 9. Now the isosceles triangle theorem states that if we have two sides that are the same, then these angles down here are also going to be congruent as well. So we know that this angle here must match this angle over here. Now remember when you add the three interior angles of a triangle, that has to equal 180 degrees. So we can go ahead and write the equation of x plus x plus 60 is equal to 180 degrees. Combining like terms, we can write 2x plus 60 is equal to 180. Then if we go ahead and take away 60 from both sides, we know that 2x must equal 120 degrees. And if we divide both sides by 2, we know that x is going to be equal to 60 degrees. Now for the future, this is always going to be true. Inside of regular hexagons, you're always going to have six equilateral triangles. But if we know that all the angles here are going to be 60 degrees on the inside, then we actually know that this uh, last side length is also going to be 9. And so if you go back to our hexagon, we can label all of those outside dimensions of this hexagon as going to be 9 inches. So the question is, is what is the perimeter of this hexagon? What we can say is we know one of the side lengths is going to be 9, and a hexagon has six of these uh, same measurements here. So 9 times 6 is going to be 54. So this is going to be our perimeter. We should go with answer choice A. If this explanation made sense to you, you can let me know by just clicking that like button. And feel free to share this video with someone else so that they can get some practice in as well.